Hello Pisces, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Pisces? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Pisces. Ooh, so a lot of happiness here in store for you guys. It looks like you guys are feeling very happy. Um, you guys could have, like, achieved some level of success here, but I'm definitely getting a lot of happiness in your energy, a lot of excitement here. Things are going even better than you were expecting. If not, then some of you guys will be feeling that way by the summer. Three of Wands is a challenge. So maybe right now you don't see the growth and expansion in a particular area that you would like to see, but they're definitely saying that there is still work required out of you. So don't give up. Don't be disappointed. Don't be disheartened in a particular situation here, especially anything involving career and finances, uh, because you're definitely needing to put a little work towards something in order to have the outcome that you desire to have. But I definitely am getting that you'll get there <clears throat> through your hard work and dedication. Advice is the hermit. So some of you guys are needing to like withdraw your energy to spend some time on your own while you're working on something or working through something. <clears throat> Overall energy is a temperance. Um, so things coming into balance. It looks like things are falling into place for you. Let's see. Give me one more for the hermit. Ace of Swords. Um, some of y'all could be spying on someone or trying to see what someone is up to. Or some of you guys, someone is doing this to you. But this is someone like you're not talking to this person. It looks like some sort of communication is going to take place or it needs to take place. I am definitely getting like someone plans on reaching out to someone here. Um, but I definitely am getting there is some sort of communication that needs to take place where you and someone else needs to just cut through the bullshit and just be honest about a particular situation here. Just be honest about the way you feel. Because it looks like someone is like checking up on the other person through social media, but there's no communication. And there is communication needed in this situation. Yes, I love it. Um, Again... You may not see the growth and the expansion right now, but it's definitely about to take place. Uh, so if you continue to work hard towards something or to build towards something here, to remain dedicated towards something, you will accomplish a major goal here. It looks like you'll be closing out a cycle. Um, now with the Four of Wands, this is all about feeling welcome, celebrated, having stability as well. So everything that you're wanting out of life, because this is all about feeling stable and secure in life. And that's what you're about to reach. That's the level that you're about to reach uh, through you accomplishing something here. Let's see. Um, you know what? I'm getting their loss. What I love is that it looks like you're about to gain everything that you've ever wanted. And there's someone here who did not treat you right. They, they did not, they were not being kind towards you. They definitely have a lot of regret. They realized the way they treated you was not right. It was uncalled for. It wasn't fair to you nor themselves because whenever, whenever someone treats, whenever someone is disrespectful towards anyone else, they are truly being disrespectful towards themselves. And once you learn to, uh, once you realize that, once you realize that concept, 
you'll learn not to take things uh, personal because you'll realize that it's really something within them that they need to figure out about themselves. Now, I'm definitely getting this situation where you ultimately decided that it was in your best interest to just cut someone off here. Um, I'm not necessarily getting like you completely cut this person off, but you definitely have made a decision not to talk to someone, uh, not to reach out to this person, just to, you know, stay away from them for the time being um, in hopes that they will change or in hopes that they will figure out, you know, what they need to do to make things right in a particular situation. But you ultimately said that it's in your best interest to just stay away from someone here. And when you did that, it's almost like you felt extremely happy because for one, you made a decision that was in your best interest and it, it shut that door of negativity, okay? So whatever negative energy this person was bringing into your life by you shutting that door on them, it made more room for positive energy. And I'm also getting it's like you felt more positive about manifesting certain things into your life or you realize that you're truly capable of doing something here. But it was like this person was bringing all this negative energy into your life and it was hard for you to see your true potential when this person was around. So it's like you could have talked to this person every time you talked to them, they were very discouraging. I definitely am seeing like a lot of success here for you. So career-wise, it looks like things will be going very well. I'm not necessarily getting romance at this moment, but we will be going into our romance spread in just a second. But I definitely am getting that you will be at this very peaceful and content place within your life. You'll be very pleased with the way things are going in your life, very happy. Um, I want to get a little bit more. Yes. Um, it's almost like I'm not necessarily getting that you're running from the past, but I definitely am getting that you're leaving a lot of things in the past, especially relationships, outdated thinking. You have outgrown a lot. Um, and so you're at this place where it's like you you know that you're headed towards this Ten of Cups, feeling truly blessed and happy with the life that you're able to live. But you're just waiting to get there. You're in this waiting phase. You're waiting for it to come in. You've made a conscious decision to leave something in the past uh, with the Six of Cups here. But it's like you're still waiting for your ship to come in. So, I mean, really the challenge that I'm getting is you being patient. You did everything that you needed to do. Now you just need to be patient as your ship is coming in. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Definitely someone working hard towards something here. You're working very hard towards something. Let's see. Okay, so Pisces who are in a relationship. Messages for the Pisces who are in a relationship. So we have the strength. Someone could have strong Leo placements or you're dealing with a Leo. Someone could be a Leo with strong uh, Pisces placements. Outcome, romantic proposal. Ten of Cups, I love it. Um, Your energy is coming through as the strength. So you feel like this is someone, um, I'm getting like you felt like you had to tame this person's wild ways to some sort of degree. It's like you've had to remain patient and strong in this connection. Um, some of you guys have, in the past, uh, let this person go. You feel like they need to figure themselves out. They need to figure out what, what do they truly want. And they came back. I'm definitely getting a situation where it's like you love something, you let it go. If it comes back, that's how you know. So I'm definitely getting a situation where this is someone you have let go of in the past. And they came back and it looks like two of you... Uh, the relationship, when they came back, it was stronger than ever. This person loves you. They truly love you. They feel like you're their true love. Um, if you like, they feel like the love is reciprocated here, but this person truly loves you. 
Now, I definitely am getting like this person plans on making some sort of romantic gesture towards you that's going to make you extremely happy. So I'm not quite sure what it is, but whatever it is, it's going to make you extremely happy. I definitely see you and this person continuing to have this beautiful life with one another. So um, I definitely am getting that it didn't come easy, but it paid off. Okay, messages regarding the Pisces who are in separation from their person. So your energy is Knight of Pentacles, which lets me know that you're a little reserved when it comes to this person. You're not necessarily open to working on things, but you are open to hear what they have to say. Um, okay. So they definitely want to work on this. They want to make things right. They want to figure out how to fix this situation between you and them. Uh, with the three of wands, I do see this being someone that's at a distance from you. I do see them traveling towards you. Um, it looks like you'll be happy though. Uh, I definitely do see with the three of wands, you'll make a decision to give this another chance after a lot of hesitation though. I definitely don't see this as something you're jumping into. You'll definitely be hesitant to give this another opportunity, but ultimately I do see that you'll give them the opportunity again. So it looks like they'll be proving themselves to you, um, but I definitely am seeing that things will go very well in this connection. Let's see. Messages for single Pisces. Messages for single Pisces. So your energy is the seven of pentacles. Right now, you are focused on investing in something financially here. Building something for yourself. It's definitely about to pay off for you. Ace of swords. Eight of swords. You know, Pisces, your energy... I'm not necessarily getting love, to be honest. I'm getting that there's something that you're building towards for yourself financially, career-wise. And that's your main focus at this time. Um, you know the steps that you need to take in order to acquire something here. Now, with the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Wands, you come across as being extremely confident. But there is a lot of self-doubt within your energy you do find yourself from time to time going back and forth in your mind about what you're truly capable of doing, but you're always able to make things happen. So I definitely am getting that this self-doubt is not necessarily coming from you because you always make things happen. The queen of wands is a go-getter. She makes, she makes it happen. If anything, this Eight of Swords is just like outdated thinking, is things that you were taught to believe about yourself, then I'm definitely getting you'll outgrow. Um, because the more the more things you achieve, the more things you accomplish here, you'll realize that this there's no truth in this self-doubt, this insecurity here. There's no truth. Okay. So I don't necessarily get love coming in for you just, just yet, but I do see you being very successful. Okay, messages regarding um, the person Pisces is crushing on. Messages regarding the person that Pisces is crushing on. Five of Pentacles. Four of Cups. They feel rejected by you. Eight of Cups. Um, you will ultimately walk away and release this. It looks like, I don't know, someone is allowing their egos to get in the way of this connection. I do get the two of you get along very well with one another. And it's almost like a friendship that 
that developed into something more. Some of you guys could have worked with this person. You guys just got along very well and you began to have romantic feelings towards one another. But then it's like as soon as you guys begin to feel a little bit romantic uh, towards one another, then you put up this wall um, or this person did. But they feel rejected by you and you feel like this person left you out in the cold. So ultimately, I'm getting that you guys will just walk away from this. I don't see it going anywhere because it looks like your ego is just getting in the way of this connection. Not yours, Pisces. I mean, yours too, but I'm I'm really getting like there's miscommunication. Um, there's no communication. It's like you guys kind of ran scared as soon as you begin to develop feelings for one another. So... Okay, new love for Pisces. New love for Pisces. The world. Page of Wands. So someone new is sparking your interest. More than likely, you'll be meeting someone offline. Outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is meeting someone offline. It's definitely leading towards a long-term committed relationship. Um, it looks like someone decided to try out online dating. Um, and someone new is about to spark your interest. They'll definitely be interested in you. Um, it looks like this person will be showing you what they're truly capable of with the Queen of Pentacles coming through. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, I definitely am getting like a lot of communication between you and this person. And ultimately, I do see this leading towards a long-term committed relationship. Again, when people are dating online, I always try to remind you guys, make sure that you don't get scammed. Because there are, unfortunately, a lot of scammers out there. So you have to be very mindful. No one should be asking you to send them money. No one should be asking you to send, never send no pictures to anyone. I mean... No nude photos, because uh, if you guys have, uh, if you guys haven't heard that story of that teenage boy, um, but I'm, I know that it's been several other people who have dealt with this, um, but it was a teenage boy not too long ago that was sending nude photos of himself, and it turned out that it was a scammer. They threatened to, you know, show uh, his friends and family his nude photos, and he ended up committing suicide. So it's unfortunate that it's like sick and twisted people in this world. You just have to protect yourself. So just be mindful. Okay, let's see. Final message for you guys. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be teachers. Uh, challenges, thoughts, problems, doubts, unclear, confusion, misunderstanding. Someone could be in the process of writing a book or you're going back and forth in your head about writing a book. I'm also getting strong Scorpio energy. Someone could be born on October 26th. Outcome is obstacle, problem, indifferent. Judgment, total transformation, heed the call, renewal, surrender. Why is there a mountain here? Why is trust? So you got the sun coming through again. We have strong Sagittarius energy coming through for someone. Rising above any sort of challenging situation. Uh, needing to see, like, needing to be, it's a far-reaching vision here for someone. It looks like a lot of success, because uh, your advice here is uh, trophy, victory, success. 
Um, focusing on a goal here. Someone could receive a lot of fame and recognition for something that they're doing. Um, there's a complete change that's taking place. Um, someone could be writing a book about their life and they're concerned about the, um, they're concerned about what their family is going to say, or they're concerned that it's going to upset their family with what they're putting out there. Um, I definitely am getting that you'll rise above any sort of drama here. Careful aim on target. Shoot, go. Okay. They want you to remain focused on something. Ladybug. Ladybugs may be very important to someone. Um, a vibrant, abundant life. Wishes coming true. I definitely am getting, they want you to basically have your eyes on the prize. That's why I'm getting for someone here. Um, there's something that you've been called to do and they don't want you, uh, they don't want you to allow other people's opinions of what you're doing to prevent you from doing what you're being called to do. Okay. You will, you will receive the support that you need. But I'm also getting like someone in it. Good Lord. I haven't eaten anything yet. So maybe that's why. But I, I don't like eating breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. I, I can wait until lunch to eat. And then I really could just eat once a, uh, once a day. But I definitely am not a breakfast person. So um, I'm definitely in a situation where there's something that you've been called to do. And you're concerned about what people are going to say. What will people think once they find out that you're doing something? Once they find out what you did. Um, your spirit guides, the universe does not want you to be concerned about that. They want you to just have your eye on the prize. to Do what you've been guided to do. Because this is what's going to bring a lot of success into your life. It will push you in this place where you don't have to stress over the things that you find yourself stressing over now. So it's like you have your eye on the prize. You're aiming for the target and they want you to just go for it. Uh, not to overthink it because people are always going to have something to say. and You can't allow that to stop you nor distract you from what you need to be focused on, what you need to be going towards at this time. And that's basically the overall message that I'm getting for someone here. So I'm a, actually, let me get a couple of more. Um, I want to get a couple of more for you guys. Authority. Yeah, Scorpio as well. Again, I don't know why Scorpio energy was coming through. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the Scorpio some of y'all will have a new beginning with the Scorpio and there will be more stability in this connection this time around. But I want to, I want to get the other deck real quick for you guys. regret so remorse life regress loss start making empowered choices observe social media fascination curiosity watching from a distance outcome outcome is outcome results conclusion ending you will get a resolution Your advice is no. So whatever uh, answer you're seeking, the answer is no. Um, overall energy is stuck. So block third party, silence, barrier, shift your focus to clear the energy. Give me one more about this. Memories. So this is someone, this is regarding a past situation uh, with memories, nostalgic, repetition, attachment, receiving the, or re, 
reliving the past. I'm sorry. Let it go. Why is no, DF Ice? The answer to your question is no. Why is no, DF Ice? Ego. Balance. Okay. I'm really getting... It. The, the message that I'm getting is like, how could you expect things to come into balance between you and someone who's very egotistical, someone who's very prideful here? Yin and yang, darkness and light. Stay centered in your higher self. And that's why I'm getting someone's being advised to do is to stay centered in your higher uh, self. You may be one in peace in a situation between you and someone who's very prideful, someone who could also be very jealous of you as well. Self-preservation uh, walls let your guard down. I definitely am getting that you guys may be expecting someone to do the right thing. And they're definitely saying that no. Like this is someone who's very prideful. They could also be jealous um, egotistical, but if you're wanting something to come into balance between you and someone that you are, that you know is like this, then I wouldn't give my hopes up about that. I do get that this person is observing you from afar, though. So this person quite possibly is like, if you have social media, I don't. I mean, this is this and TikTok is most I have, and I definitely don't have TikTok to see what people are up to because I don't even share my contacts on there so people can't find me on TikTok I just I'm a private person um so if some of y'all are a very private person and people can't you know you don't have a social media but it looks like some someone some way is trying to spy on you whether through people that you know or Someone could be relocating to a busier city, uh, something where there's a place where there's more potential here. Fulfillment, risk, someone's being guided to take some sort of risk, achievement, your potential is limitless. Um, healing, self-care, time out, be gentle with yourself. Um, I definitely am seeing like a significant change taking place for someone, Okay it's some some of y'all in order to receive the results you desire to receive you may need to make a a drastic change here and some of y'all that involves relocating inner child i definitely am getting like um there's someone here at some point in their life, they will awaken to the mistakes that, they, that they've that they made in this connection. Because I'm getting multiple messages here. For one, I'm getting right now, you're being guided to do what's best for you. And some of you guys, what's best for you is to move. Um, some of you guys may move to like a busy city, but it doesn't have to be. Some of you guys may be moving from a busy city. But I am getting more of this energy of someone moving to a bitty, uh, a bitty, a busy city because it looks like someone is on the verge of doing something major. And you need to be where there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of potential. And that's why I'm getting someone moving towards a busy city. And once you're all settled in life, if you want to move back to a more calmer, uh, calmer place where there's not much going on, I'll definitely see you doing that. Some of y'all could end up having houses in multiple places. But I definitely am getting that there is someone who's very stubborn, who is still observing you. They're still watching you. But the issue with this person is they refuse to compromise. They have some inner child healing that they need to work on. Now... There are, um, I definitely am getting that like, yes, this person has a lot of things that they regret, but I'm also getting like, this is in your energy. If you don't like open yourself up to new possibilities, you'll only regret doing so. And that's what they want you to be mindful of. And it's very important for you to acknowledge that right now, to be open to receive new things in your life. Um, because if you're closing yourself off, um, for the sake of someone else, then you'll ultimately, years down the line, you'll be like, why did I do that? I missed out on so much. I'm, I could have did this. I could have did that. So you don't want to be in the energy of shoulda, coulda, woulda, because you sacrifice um, the things that you wanted out of life for someone else, for the sake of someone else. So just be mindful of that. But I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button. 
subscribe to the channel and leave a comment as this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.